Years with the Sioux City Police Department, Captain Lisa Clays is calling it a career. This afternoon, friends and family gathered at the police department to celebrate her retirement. Police Chief Rex Mueller talked about the impact Clays has had on the department. Also at today's celebration was retired police chief Doug Young, who says he trained Clays when she came to the department in 1983. He says he remembers her being a very energetic officer who always got the job done. She needs to enjoy retirement. It, it's, uh, it's fun. Uh, get out and do what you've always wanted to do. You got nobody looking over your shoulder anymore. Uh, just enjoy, you know, what you can out of it. Young adds she was a delight to work with. KTIV's Claire Bradshaw talked with Clays and others about her time on the police force, the trail she blazed, and the legacy she leaves behind. Well, it was an accident. That's Captain Lisa Clay's explanation for how she ended up spending nearly 40 years with the Sioux City Police Department. She started clerking for South Sioux City Police Department because she says she didn't like her computer programming degree. It wasn't until then Clay's realized she wanted to be a police officer. So she signed up to test with the Sioux City Police while eight and a half months pregnant. So I waddled into the um, up, up to the, it was at North High in the auditorium and PI could hear people chuckling and laughing when I was testing, so, or going to take the test and thinking, oh, that pregnant woman wants to be a cop, ha, ha, ha. She would go on to become the department's first woman lieutenant, sergeant, and captain. But for her, she isn't just a police captain. You know, I'm a mother, I'm a wife, I'm a sister and a friend, and I'm a citizen. Um, of this community. Clays is the mother of three boys who have given her grandchildren to adore. She's involved in multiple organizations in Siouxland and plans to stay that way in retirement. And she's grateful she has those roles because it's helped her get past the days when she saw the unimaginable. Clays' pride and joy is the Citizens Academy dedicated to connecting those walking the streets with those who patrol them. She launched it back in 1994. I have a tendency when there's a job to be done, I'm like, okay, what do you need? And I raise my hand. And I did that when Chief Moss at the time said he wanted to, was interested in starting a citizen academy here in Sioux City. Before he was chief of police, Rex Mueller worked under Clays. He says she helped shape him and the department into what we know today. You know, Lisa has left such a legacy, and not just as a woman in policing, because she did break down a lot of barriers here, as a police officer. Uh, there was no ceiling or no project she couldn't tackle. And we all like to think that we're irreplaceable, but the fact is that we're all replaceable. Uh, Lisa is one of those ones that certainly feels irreplaceable. For Lieutenant Judy Callen, one of the few women in the department, Clay's opened up the door for opportunities. So she broke all of those barriers for other people who will come behind her. Some, some point down the road, um, however many years it takes, it would be uh, nice to see another female reach the rank of captain. Clay says she's had her retirement planned for a while, but it has been a rewarding career. I'm going to miss um, all of these people. They've become family to me. And um, it just makes me proud and, and humbled to say that I wear the same uniform as they do. And I'm really proud of them. This department's awesome. So I'm going to miss it. Reporting in Sioux City, Claire Bradshaw, KTIV News 4. Today was Clay's last day on the police force. She says instead of taking a vacation, she wanted to work every day right up until her last. So what plans does she have for retirement? 